Greetings adventurers and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Today we're going to do some hopefully simpler and more fun <laughs> things just to kind of break things up. Uh, first thing I want to do is get this Elden Power Attack. Uh, I've tried to use it before, but one of its uh, dependencies, Detry's Key Utilities, uh, wasn't updated for 640. Luckily somebody made a update thing that updates a bunch of his uh, plugins if you aren't aware of it. Um, other ones I might come back for, like the combat music fix, but I'm not doing that right now. Um, so I already installed the key utilities and this plugin thing. I was just showing you here that uh, there was a rule to put it afterwards so that it works, obviously. And before, when you tried to load it up, it gave you a message saying it wasn't working for 640, so we're just going to see that it works now, which is great. And we already have its other requirement, Propyrus INI Manipulator. So we are just going to install. And now just so, I imagine I'll have to set it up. But this one uses, uh, so you can see here on the left-hand side is vanilla behavior and on the right-hand side is how the mod changes it. Obviously it goes the modifier key route. See, I have, uh, you know, as by default, there's no block option, but you can change the power attack to be a block option. I think, as far as I can tell, the combination of Blade and Blunt and Chocolate Poise makes both blocking and power attacking <laughs> important. Well, I guess I will just leave it how it is for now, and and it, you know, that's a pretty easy thing. If it if it feels bad for some reason, I can fix it. Now let's install it. Oh, we already no, nope, dang it. <laughs> There are unresolved conflicts between Elden Power Attack and Elden Power Attack. That's crazy. All right, let's get in and uh, see how it goes. So what do I already have? Shift is my dodge button right now. Not that I'm tied to that per se. Oh, I can already tell. I think I'd probably just put it on uh, space because I don't use jumping. My thumb is already there. Ugh, I already like him. I'm about to install some more weather stuff, but even just Cathedral Weather's uh, seasonal perspective is, is cool. Because it is last seed, so it's like harvest season essentially, so it's fall. And, uh, you know, we're up north here, so there's like a little snow just, just falling right with the, how the weather is right now. like that a lot. All right, I assume it's enough time for... And uh, I guess I'll just... I'm not sure if I put it in a video before, but I couldn't quite get the crosshair to do what I wanted. I didn't realize that Smooth Cam at its own crosshair settings, and I essentially found the balance I like. So now the crosshair only shows up when I'm looking at something within this radius distance, which is pretty close. And yeah, I plan on using true directional movements, target lock for everything, including bow stuff. I plan on balancing it so that uh, I don't even need the, the sneak attack is just going to be whether, like there's not gonna be head damage. Uh, Cause I found, I remember from, a uh, previous playthrough, I found that kind of difficult to to manage as far as getting the the balance of, of sneak attack damage right for how I wanted it. But yeah, see, now you can really see the crosshair when you're looking at stuff up close. And that was mostly, so like when you're, if there's, I don't think there's too many instances of that, but essentially if you need to make sure you're clicking on the right thing that you're trying to pick up or whatever. But yeah, obviously most of the time you're looking around, no crosshair. Even, you know, that tree's pretty close, but I can't, you have to get that close. That's pretty perfect. I'm not gonna that's not gonna bother me and i can turn down the activation or i almost turned it up before but uh i it's if that seems obtrusive i can turn it down um can you change controls of course that wouldn't why would you put controls in the settings <laughs> uh jump gotta find just another key to put that i don't think o does anything right no so controls jump o Mod configuration. Uh, does it have to be a new game? Or is it an I and I? For some reason I thought there was an MCM, but I might be wrong. I know, I and I. Uh, so this is using the same ID thing, so which I already have. <sighs> Spacebar is 57. Power attack modifier. Normal attack. Okay, it's not even holding it down, just does. And if we hold space, haha! -ha! Alright, so that's working. Oh, that's so much smoother too. Because the holding down thing created just like a, a second of confusion, or like it just wasn't like working as often. Back up. Oh, and that's just so perfect. But yeah, the the back one was like uncomfortable for me to pull off a lot of the time. It felt like. Uh, uh that's interesting. 
So as long as I keep, even though I changed the direction, now it's only like because I'm holding down space, I think. Granted, I should be doing it with target lock on because that's the only right line. So yeah, I can like strafe sideways, do a couple light attacks. Yeah, that's what I have to get used to is uh, holding space if I anticipate, because it doesn't do anything else. So it's like if I anticipate doing a power attack, I just need to hold down space. Okay, but if you let space... So I guess that could be the intended feature, is that as long as you're holding it, you can chain them together. And maybe, I, I guess that, because as far as I understand MCO's thing, that comboing power attacks is a, a mechanic of that. So that probably makes sense. Or, or Sky SA. Maybe both, actually. But yeah, I actually want... Especially with how uh, slow a lot of uh, uh, secondary attacks seem to be. You know, I have a thing that makes these faster, but... That's still pretty slow. <laughs> and for all I know, the faster greatsword swings actually only works on... Uh, yeah, I actually don't necessarily know for sure what it does. But we have... Uh, you know, now we have animation canceling. We can cancel animations with dodging or with blocking. Add my target lock on my mouse 4 on the side. Dodge is shift. Power attack is space. Yeah, I've got train my brain now to hit space first when I plan on doing a power attack. Plus I have to figure out, because I'm, I'm pretty sure when I'm playing, playing, and not like, and I'm done like testing all the, the Proteus stuff, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try playing with gamepad, because I've put all this effort into making it, uh, you know, Souls-like, not not like a Souls copy. If anything, it's more uh, Jedi Fallen Order, because <laughs> I love the, the stepdaughter so much. Alright, so the next thing, I just thought this was cool. Uh, I've never really paid attention to the calendar much. We already have Cathedral Seasons, which has a seasonal perspective, uh, but most people agree it's fairly limited. Um, so we have this Cathedral Weathers Diverse Seasons mod, and then it also has this uh, patch for Improved Rain and True Storms, and Improved Rain and Fog. So we are going to install all of those. I've already checked all the requirements and everything, and we have the installs pulled up. Start out with Improved Rain and Fog, no Darker Nights. All right, we got Improved Rain and Fog installed, now True Storms, all right, and now Cathedral Weathers. And we're just going to do a uh, a new game real quick. As I always say, when we're in a room like this, it is a little obtrusive to see it pop in and out when I'm looking around. Yeah, like that. <laughs> to the point where, you know what, I'm going to try just having it off, actually. And see if, because uh, the only reason I had it on was, like I said, I think uh, trying to pick up a very specific thing. But I can generally tell where, like, the center of the screen is and just moving around a little bit. Uh, I think it'll be fine. But, uh, so we're not going to use that. Bye bye, Crosshair. All right. Let's go to White Run. Oh, let's uh, make sure all the weather stuff is good too. Seasonal perspective on. Sure. I'm glad I made sure that the seasonal thing was on or that would be <laughs> not helpful. Uh, now I can't get it out of my head. This is a pretty slow walk. Uh, I think I might need that walking speed thing and just see if it, uh, because I already have like a couple things that change the combat speed. So yeah, I wonder if realistic lighting would be good to add because it's daytime outside. Well, I guess I don't know if it's raining actually, and I don't have sound on it could be raining for all I know. But yeah, I mean, the walk, the default walking speed is pretty slow, but I already have mods that change the combat speed, so I'm just worried about... Oh, look, it is raining. <laughs> so I'm just worried about that interfering with that, because I just got it <laughs> using Valrov and, and everything, exactly how I, how I like it. And plus, I usually run anyways. I don't like... And the, the walking speed is to, like, follow NPCs who also walk slow, generally, when they're walking. Ugh, I do like how dark it is, because this starts out, yeah, it does look very nice. The lighting does look really good, though. I wish there was just an easy way to, like, cycle through the weathers. Can I give myself control weather, even though I don't have the, the spell? Or, I mean, I don't have a mastery. Oh, well, I didn't need that, I guess. That is so cool. With the runes, let's just change the weather. <laughs> Takes a lot of magic, I suppose. That is so cool looking. You're welcome. <laughs> now, I wonder... If I like do the same thing twice in a row, will it change the exact like storm setting? So I wonder if this is cycling through like all the available ones through my mods, or if it's just doing like a basic version. 
That seems pretty basic. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. You're welcome. <laughs>